वेलकम बैक टू योर डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स क्लासेस इन द मॉड्यूल टू इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द डिज़ाइन ऑफ सेवरल कॉम्बिनेशनल लॉजिक सर्क्यूट्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द डिज़ाइन ऑफ द कॉम्बिनेशनल सर्क्यूट कॉल्ड एज एनकोडर वॉट इज द पर्पज ऑफ एनकोडर हाउ कैन वी डिज़ाइन वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ एनकोडर्स एंड प्रायोरिटी एनकोडर्स so in this video we will be discussing regarding the last type of uh, uh, combinational circuit that is multi multiplexer let us try to understand what is the need of multiplexer with the help of an example so now assume that uh, several people are trying to uh, make a call to you okay so out of several people what we want to do is only one person's call will be connected to you so that means what is happening in this uh, scenario we have multiple inputs that is uh, multiple calls S among several calls or several inputs what we want to do is we want to pick one of the input that is one of the call and transfer it to the output transfer it to the output means we want to transfer it to the destination so whenever we have this kind of scenario in which we want to select one of the inputs from several inputs and uh, forward it to the output we can make use of a uh, combinational logic circuit called as multiplexer so let us uh, represent this multiplexer with the help of a block diagram so what i am going to do i am writing it as a mux usually the multiplexer will be represented as mux so now assume that as i told you there will be several inputs okay i said there are several inputs and there will be only one output so now the question is how many inputs we can have can i have one two how many what is the rule for selecting the number of inputs so always in a multiplexer we should have two power n inputs okay and there will be always one output so now assume that if i am taking two power 1 so for 2 power 1 how many inputs i am going to get two inputs so i can represent this as a block diagram so i can write it as this is the first input and this is the second input so now what i am going to do i am going to assign them labels since they are inputs i am taking them as i0 and i1 okay then for the output i am going to write as y so for this i am going to give the name as 2 2 1 max okay so now what is the role of this uh, combinational logic circuit i have two inputs among two inputs what i want to do the data available in one of the inputs should be transferred to the output okay for example assume that here in i not i have one so i want to transfer this one to y so that means i want to get the output y as i not so now the question is on what basis we are going to decide which of the inputs data will be forwarded to the output so that can be done with the help of select lines okay so what these select lines are going to do they are going to decide out of several inputs which input must be selected and forwarded as output so now how we are going to decide how many select input should be there for example in this one i said we are designing 2 power 1 i have two inputs means what is the value i have here one so that means there will be one select in input or select lines i can say so for this i am going to give the label as what yes so now what i want to do when there is only one input variable obviously how many combinations are possible its value can be either 0 or 1 so now what i want to do is if yes value is 0 then i want to forward i not to output okay so what i want to do if yes is equal to 0 i want to forward i not as output of multiplexer if by chance yes is 1 then what i want to do i want to transfer i1 as output of the multiplexer okay so that means the whole concept is what here whenever we have 
a multiplexer, there will be several inputs. Among several inputs, I want to select one of the input. Which input will be selected is decided with the help of select lines. So based on the value of select lines, one of the input will be selected and it will be forwarded to the output. Okay, so now this whole functionality we can represent with the help of a truth table. So obviously whenever we are writing the truth table, what we have to do? First I have to identify the inputs and outputs. So how many inputs we have? We are going to take this S as control input and these things, they are called as data inputs. Because the data available on these inputs will be transferred to the output. So, in truth table we will be usually writing only a select input for one row, one column and there is one output called as Y. So, how many values are possible for yes? As I said you, the first value is 0, the second value is 1. It is like a normal truth table. Whenever I have only one input variable, I will be having 2 power 1 rows, that is 2 rows. So, now what I said, when yes value is 0 I want to get what as output I naught so what we do we make the entry as I naught if yes is 0 I will get y as I naught if yes is 1 I am going to get y as I naught ok so once this is done what I want to do is I want to write the boolean equation for this particular uh, multiplexer so now how I am going to write the multi, uh, boolean equation so what I want to do is when I naught is selected, when yes is 0. So, how can I represent this 0 value in complemented form? So, I will write yes dash, then I naught. Okay, so what does it mean? If yes value is 0, what is selected? I naught. Okay, either this will happen or, or if yes value is 1, I1 must be selected. Since it is OR, what I am going to do? I am going to write a OR operator here. So then what should I do? When yes value is 1, what must be selected? I1 is selected. So how will you represent 1 in a mean term representation? So I should write it as yes. Then I should write I1. Okay. So this is the logical expression for our 2 to 1 multiplication. So now let us check can whether the concept what I have explained here is being satisfied with the help of Boolean expression. Okay, we can verify this uh, with the help of Boolean expression or even the logic diagram. So now what I want to do, I want to check with the Boolean expression. Once we are done with this, what we will do? We will try to check with the even the logic circuit. So what I will do, I will substitute the value of yes as 0 in this equation. So when I substitute the value of s as 0, so what will be the y value? So I am going to get here as 0 dash and i naught plus what I will get here 0 and i1. So obviously this term will become 0 and what is the value for this? This is 1. So 1 into i naught will be what here? i naught. So what is the value we have got here? y is equal to i naught. So that means what does it mean? If I0 is 0, Y will be 0. If I0 I is 1, Y will be 1. Okay. So in a similar fashion substitute, yes is equal to 1. So when I substitute yes is equal to 1, Y is equal to 1 dash I0 plus 1 into I1. So what will be 1 dash? 0. So again this term will go off. I am left out with what term? I1. Okay. So y is equal to i1. So that is if yes value is 1, what is the value that is being selected? It will be i1. And usually whenever we are representing a, a multiplexer with the help of a block diagram, instead of using just a rectangle box, uh, we follow the convention of using the symbol. Okay. So we are just writing this way. What are the inputs we had? We had i0, i1 which are the data lines. And it is just max. And here what I will be having? Y. And here I will be having the select input. So usually we will be representing the multiplexer using this kind of block diagram. Okay. So let us try to draw the circuit for this uh, equation. So obviously 
I should have two AND gates. One AND gate to represent this term. Second AND gate to represent this term. So let us draw the first AND gate. Okay. And this is my second AND gate. So for first AND gate, what is the input I am giving? I am going to give the data input as what here? I naught. So write here as I naught. And for second AND gate, what is the input I am giving? I1. Okay. So after that, we have a select line. I want to select line both in complemented and uncomplemented form. So if you observe, the data lines will be always in their uncomplemented form. But the select lines, it is in complemented as well as uncomplemented form. So now, what I want to do, when I not is selected, I not is selected with yes bar. Okay? If this is yes, then yes bar means what should I do? I have to connect with this to this. Okay? Then, if yes is 1, then what I want to do? I want to connect it to a second end. Then, it is a sum of products representation. The output from these two AND gates will be given as input to one OR gate and this will be my Y. Okay? Let us try to verify the same thing with the help of a circuit. So, now what I am going to do? I am going to take my S value as 0. Okay? When I take my S value as 0, this is going directly to lower AND gate. So, what will happen? This one input to my AND gate will become 0. So, now, irrespective of I1 value, the output for this AND gate will become what here? 0. Whether it is 1 or 0, it doesn't matter because one of the input is 0 here. I am going to get the output for this lower AND gate as 0. So, now, what will happen with my upper AND gate? So, 0 means what will go into this AND gate? 1. So, now, if I0 is 0, what will happen here? 0 will appear on this AND gate. If I0 is 1, then what will appear here? It will appear as 1. So, that means the output of this lower AND gate is 0. Here, this will be 0. Now, another input for OR gate is coming from here, upper AND gate. So, then our output now depends on only on the value of upper end gate. If the value of upper end gate is 0, the whole output will become 0. If the value of upper end gate is 1, then I am going to get the value as what here? 1. So, that means we can easily say that. What will be the value of my output? Y is equal to I0. So, this is done when, when yes value is 0. So now if yes value is 1, let us try this. When yes value is 1, what should be done? Yes is 1. So this is going through the inverter. So that means one of the input to upper end gate will become 0. So irrespective of I0 value, what will happen? The AND gate will give the output as 0. But it is connected directly to the lower end gate. So, one of the input will be 1. And another input is what? I1. So, that means the output of this AND gate now depends on I1 value. So, if I1 value is uh, 0, here I am going to get it as 0. If I1 value is 1, I am going to get here as 1. So, again the total output of the circuit will be, not, uh, will be now what? I1. So, it is very clear from this design that Whenever we have multiple data inputs, I can select one of the input and forward it as an output. Okay, so that can be done with the help of a multiplexer. As I said you, I can design either 2 to 1 multiplexer. That is general formula is 2 power n to 1 multiplexer. So I have to go on substituting the value of uh, n here. If n value is 1, I am going to get how many, uh, what kind of multiplexer? 2 to 1 multiplexer. And how many uh, select lines will be there? Select lines for here, 2 to 1 max will be 1. So if I substitute n value as 2, what I am going to get here? 4 to 1 max. For 4 to 1 max, what will be the Number of select lines, the number of select lines will be 2. So, similarly, I can construct 2 power 3 
means 8 to 1 marks. Okay, so 8 to 1 marks means how many select lines will be there? 3 select lines will be there. So it is very easy to identify how many select lines are there in any multiplexer. So depending on what formula, 2 power n to 1 multiplexer. So I hope the design of here, uh, 2 to 1 multiplexer is clear. So let us try to design even 4 to 1 multiplexer. Okay. So in order to design 4 to 1 multiplexer, uh, can you guess how many select lines I should take? So obviously, as I have just explained you, depending on this data, I can say that 2 power 2 to 1 means there will be how many uh, select lines? 2 select lines. So what we are going to do? There will be 2 select lines, yes 1 and yes 0 and D. Okay? Then after that, how many outputs will be there? There will be always one output for any multiplexer. Then, when I have two inputs, how many combinations I am going to get? 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay? So now, when it is 0, 0, I want to select uh, which data line. So obviously, when I am saying that there are 2 power 2 to 4 marks means, how many data lines will be there? There will be 2 power 2, uh, 4 data lines. Okay? So 4 data lines means I0 to I3. If it is 0, 0, I0 is selected. If it is 0, 1, I1 is selected. If it is 1, 0, I2 is selected. If it is 1, 1, I3 is selected. It is very simple. Okay? So now let us try to write the Boolean expression for this. What is the Boolean expression for this? Y is equal to When I0 is selected, yes1, yes0 values are 0. So that means they should appear in their complemented form. Yes1 not dash, yes0, s1 dash, s0 dash into I0 plus. Now when I1 is selected, yes1 dash, yes0, I2 plus. Then when I2 is selected, sorry this is I1. When I2 is selected, yes1, yes0, dash, I2, plus, yes1, yes0, I2. Okay? So now let's verify for at least one of the inputs. So I want to verify for this. So that means I want to substitute yes1 as 1 and yes1 as 1 and substitute yes not as 0. So let us see what will happen. Yes 1 dash means I am getting 1 dash. Then yes not dash 0 dash. Then I not plus. I am going to get next yes 1 dash again 1 dash and yes not. Yes not is 0. Then I 1 plus yes 1 yes1 is 1 and yes0 dash 0 dash i2 plus yes1 is 1 and uh, yes0 is 0 then i3. So just check this terms. In this case 1 dash will become 0. Okay. 0 into anything. This term will become 0. Okay. Then next one. Here you have 0 into anything. This entire term will become what here? 0 again. I can say this is 0. Here what we have? 1 into 0 dash. Means 1 into 1 into I2. So what will be left out for this term? I2. Then here again this entire thing will become 0. And we have a OR symbol between all the mean terms since it is a sum of products form. So what is the value I am going to get? I2. So it is very obvious that when S1 is 1 and S0 is 0, which is the data line which will be forwarded as output of the multiplexer is, that is I2. Okay. So let us try to design the logic circuit for this equation. Again, it is very simple. So how many terms we have in the sum of products equation of Y? We have 4. 
So that means I have to make use of four AND gates. First AND gate, second AND gate, third AND gate, and fourth AND gate. Okay. For first AND gate, what is the data input I want to give? I not. For second AND gate, what is the data input I want to give? I one. Similarly, I two, then I three. Okay. So now what I want to do? I want to connect the select lines. Okay. So select lines. I am going to take two select lines. Both of them should be in their complemented form and uncomplemented form. So I am going to take this as S one, and second select line I am going to take it as S not. So now let us try to make the connections. So for first AND gate, I should connect both of them in complemented form. So that means I have to take the inputs from this line. Okay, connect it to first AND gate, and one more input is coming from this line, and connect it to this one, and second one. Second one is S one bar. S one bar means It is coming from here, and it should be connected to second AND gate. And I have yes not. So yes not means it should come this come from this point. Okay. So let me take like this. Okay. Then for the next AND gate, both of them. Uh, I mean for your third AND gate, yes one yes not bar. Yes one. It should come from this point. And yes, not bar. Yes, not bar means it should come from this point. Okay. Then the last one, both are in its uncomplemented form. See, this line is coming here. Both are uncomplemented, so I can just extend this. Okay, to this, and even I can extend this to this. So now I want to connect the output of all these AND gates to a Or gate like this. Okay, so now this is the Y bar. Okay, again for uh, clarification or for better understanding, let us take uh, one of the input and check whether we are going to get the correct output or not for this particular circuit. Let us take for example one and one. Okay, select inputs are one and one means yes one is one. And yes, not is one. Okay, so I have to just check if I have either yes one dash or yes not dash in any of the mean terms. The output of that AND gate will become zero. So if you see for the first AND gate, what is the mean term? Yes one dash, yes not dash. So that means uh, the input, both of the input will become what here zero. Okay, for the second AND gate, we have yes one dash. So one dash means it will become zero and yes not. This will be one. Okay, but one of the input is zero means output of this will become zero in a similar fashion. For the third AND gate, we have yes not dash. Yes not dash is coming from here. Okay, so one of the input will become zero here. Once one of the input is zero, I need not bother about the other output, other inputs because The output will be zero here. So now only for the last AND gate we have yes one and yes not are one and one. So this is one and this is one. So now depending on I three value, if I three is zero, this will be zero. If I three is one, this will be one. So that means the output of the whole circuit will now go from this. Okay. So that means we can say that. Y is equal to I three for what values of select uh, uh, lines? Yes, not and yes one. Okay. From the truth table, it is very clear that when yes one and yes not are one and one, which is the data input which is selected from the multiplexer, it is I three. Okay. So I hope this point is clear. So let us see some more examples on your multiplexer design. Uh, the next one is little uh, tricky. But interesting. So now what I want to do? 
I have two inputs 0 0 1 1 B is equal to 1 1 1 1 okay I have two 4 bit inputs so what is my task is I have to select either this as output or this so that means I want to select any one from this two groups okay so this can be done by designing a multiplexer what kind of multiplexer we are designing is we are designing quadruple 2 to 1 max so now let us try to understand what is the meaning of this term so here quadruple means I should have 4 how many? 4 what kind of multiplexer? 2 to 1 multiplexer ok I hope it is clear what we are supposed to do the, the task here is I have 4 bit data ok I want to select either the first 4 bits or the next 4 bits or I can say either I want to select A's or B's ok so now what I can do for this I am going to assign some symbols I will take it as A3, A2, A1 a naught. Then second one is B3, B2, B1, B naught. So now your task is either this 4 bit data must be selected or B 4 bit data should be selected. Okay. How can we do that? By designing a quadruple 2 to 1 multiplexer. So now what exactly we are trying to do in this quadruple 2 to 1 multiplexer is obviously we are using 4 mux, 4 multiplexers. What kind of multiplexer? 4, 2 to 1 multiplexers. Ok. So now how we are going to arrange those 4 multiplexer is my first 2 to 1 multiplexer should select either A0 or B0. Ok. We have seen in our uh, 2 to 1 multiplexer we had one select line and one output line 0, 1 and here what was the output? I0 was output and here what is the output? I1 is output. So now in place of I0, I1 what we are telling, either I have to select A0 or I have to select B0. Ok. For example, we can say that when S value is 0, select A0. When S value is 1, select B0. Ok. So that means to select from these two bits, I have to write or I have to design one, one multiplexer. To select from the next two bits, that is from either A1 or B1 must be selected. Ok. Then take uh, one more multiplexer. So similarly I have to take how many multiplexers? I have to take four multiplexers. So for these four multiplexers what are the data inputs? Ok. So they, the data inputs are A's and B's. Four A's and four B's. Ok. So let us try to design this circuit. So what I want to do? I should have four multiplexers, 4 2 to 1 multiplexers. In 1 2 to 1 multiplexer we have 2 AND gates. So that means I need how many totally, uh, how many AND gates? I need totally 8 AND gates. So let us draw 8 AND gates. smaller 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 ok so for the first 4 uh, I mean for the first 4 AND gates the data inputs will be A0 for this second one A1, third one A2, fourth one A3. So if you remember the design of our 2 to 1 mux, we had two AND gates, ok, followed by one OR gate. For this first AND gate, one data input, second AND gate, one more data input and then we had a select input yes. So that was connected to first one and yes is connected to second one. Okay. In a similar. So that means for one and gate 
one is one input is data input and second input is select input okay so first let us uh, decide the data inputs for each end gate then we will talk about the select inputs okay so then for the next end gates what i want to do um, b0 then b1 make it b2 then the last one is b okay i hope up to here it is clear next when i say i have four two to one marks i'll be having how many outputs i should have four outputs four output means outputs are represented using what or gate for one max one or gate means i have to draw how many or gates i have to draw four or gates okay then i will name these outputs as y0 y1 y2 and y3 okay then what next so what should we do next so now what did i say you i want my first multiplexer okay to select what inputs either a not or b not okay as i have already told you for 2 to 1 marks first data line was i not and i1 okay among i not i1 one must be selected in our case i want to select what a not and b not so that means for first or gate one input will come from here okay and the second input should go from b not i hope it is clear so second input should go from b not because i want to select one among a not and b not in a similar fashion for second y1 i want to select either a1 or b1 so that means my first input will go from here and my second input to second or gate will go from here okay so to make it understand let us highlight them from where the inputs are coming okay next third one a2 so it will come from this and one more will come from this line then the last one one is coming from this another is coming from this see there are multiple lines so there are more chances of getting confused confused so if you just following the way i'm drawing it will be easy for you to understand okay so once we are done with this we have to now speak about the select input so select input is only one select input okay so what did i say when yes is zero i want a to be selected okay so that means i can just modify this to table if yes is zero output output means how many values i have always if yes is zero i want to select which data i want to select a if yes is one what i want to do i want to select b okay so now how can we do this can you just think okay so it is very clear from the discussion i have to take one um, select line that is yes when a is selected when it is zero so that means it has to go through inverter and connect this to all a's second input to here and gate okay i hope it is clear then for this it should be one so one means take from this point so okay then this then this one. okay so i hope up to here it is clear so now let us see whether it is going to work properly or not what did i say when yes is equal to 0 what will happen yes is 0 it is going directly to which gates the first and gates okay it is going directly to the uh, b and gates so 
the input one of the input for all and the heads will become zero okay so that means now what is the value of b it doesn't matter the output of all these and the gates will become zero whereas now s is passing through the inverter here so that means it will become one so what is the input to the upper and gates that is a and gates it is one one of the input is one so that means yes output of these and gate depends on a values okay for example if i take the same one i am taking 0 0 1 1 okay so what will happen now here also if i take 1 1 1 1 even though it is 1 1 1 what will happen all the values are zeros here okay then what is happening here this output will give me what zero this is going to give me zero this is going to give me one this will be going to give me one here so that means what will come out of my not y not is zero y1 is zero y2 is one and y3 is one so that means what is selected a is select if the select input is zero a will be select if select input is one it is very very obvious from the logic if select input is one okay what will happen it is connected directly to the b and gates okay means the one of the input to the lower and gate will be one one of the input to the lower and gate is one and what will happen with the upper and gate a and gates it is going through the inverter means one of the input to upper and gates will become zero so this entire thing will become zero s will become zero then what will be the output coming out of the circuit b values so that means if the control input is uh, one that is if your select input is one what will be selected b will be select okay so to this circuit i want to add one more uh input that is enable input so what we want to do i want the circuit to be in working mode when enable value is zero okay if enable value is one irrespective of yes value which is represented with don't care condition i want output to be all zeros okay so that means the circuit will go into working mode when when e value is zero okay so that means what should i do i have to take one enable input so i'm going to take one enable input usually this is represented below there is no place so i'm going to write like this e is going through inverter so if e is zero then what i have to do i have to make the circuit in working mode so i have to connect the inverter then the output of this inverter will be connected to all the and gates okay output will be connected to all the and gates like this okay so now what will happen if e is zero this will become one enable input to all and gate will become one so now it depends on a s and b s values and yes values if by chance if e is 1 what will happen when e is 1 the output from this inverter will become zero when it is zero what will happen all the and gates will become zero when all the and gates are zero then what will happen the output will be obviously zero so that means my circuit will be in enable mode when e value is zero and it will be in non working mode when e value is 1 okay so this diagram looks little clumsy so i have shown you the a uh, diagram in the next slide so with all this discussion on multiplexer how can we decide the number of data lines number of select lines then already we have seen uh, the design of few multiplexers so now let us see some more examples or some more functions that we can do with the multiplexer circuit so uh, we you have real, realized this several logical expression using normal Uh, and and or gates or nand gates okay so that means you can realize the expression using the logic gates even it is possible to realize the expressions using the multiplexer circuit so that means assume that 
they are given with a question. So they are asking you to realize this expression. Okay. So one way is what I can construct a three variable k map. After constructing a three variable k map, I am going to get a simplified equation. From that simplified e equation, using the basic gates, I can realize the circuit and I can verify the truth table. That is one way. Suppose that you don't have the basic gates with you when you are doing it practically. So now what I can do, I can realize this circuit using multiplexer circuit. Okay, so let us see how I am going to do that. So you can see in our this first question we have three inputs. Okay, when I say three inputs, obviously I have to make use of how many select lines? Three select lines. Okay, so I have to make use of three select lines. When there are three select lines, there will be how many data inputs? There will be eight data inputs. So what I am going to do? I am going to write a block diagram. Okay, so what I can do? In order to make the circuit look simpler and easily readable, I am going to make use of which multiplexer? 8 to 1 mux. Why I am using 8 to 1 mux? Because it is having three inputs means three select lines. So now, how many inputs will be there for this? So data inputs. So I will be having D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7. And how many select lines? I will be having A, B and C. Okay? Then there will be one data I mean uh, output that is y. So now I want to realize this expression. What is the meaning of this? Okay, the meaning of this is the entry in a truth table of three variables, the mean terms 1, 2, 6, 7 have one entry. Okay, so what we have to do is we know that this D0, D1, D2, D3, even they represent the mean terms. Right? Because we have here three select lines. They are representing uh, mean terms. If for example a value is 0, 0, 0, then what does it mean? I am going to get the equation as a dash, b dash, c dash into, sorry, uh, we have used the input lines as i snow, let us take i only. So it will be i0, i1, i2, i3, i4, i5, i6, I7, of course it doesn't matter what symbols we are using. So it will become A dash, B dash, C dash into I0. So that means if the value is 0, 0, 0, then what is selected? I0 is selected. So I0 is selected means what is the meaning? The value of 1, that is value of I0 is 1 here. So what we are going to do? We are just going to make simple connection. I0 should be what here? 1. Then what is I2? It should be 1. And what is I, uh, sorry, 6, 6 mean term is 1. Then what is next one? Next one is 1. And remaining all the values are what here? 0. We are just representing the truth table in the form of a circuit here. Okay. Or to make the thing simple, even you can short like this. I am connecting all ones like this by highlighting it. Okay, instead of writing this one multiple times, I can short all once by highlighting using this dot and it is connected to one. And similar way, select all zeros. All zeros are selected and it will be connected to one here. Okay, so it is looking a little confusing. So let's do it this way. First take uh, one, then second one. 2, then third one, 6, I am choosing the 1 entry, then 7. So all of them are connected to 1. And remaining, this, this, remaining all main terms, they are connected to 0. It is very simple. Okay. So now assume that I don't have 8 to 1 multiplexer circuit with me. Okay. I have only uh, 4 to 1 multiplexer. I can even realize this expression using 4 to 1 multiplexer. 
So let us see how I am going to do that. So to do that first I have to construct the truth table and the block diagram. See what I need? I need 4 to 1 max means. What will be the block diagram for this? I will be having I0, I1, I2, I3. And how many select lines? A, B and there is only one output. So what is the kind of max it is? 4 to 1 max. Okay. But here I have how many select lines? 3 select lines. But the, my circuit is having only 2 select lines. So now what I have to do? I have to convert this truth table into 2 variable truth table. Okay. What I am doing? I am trying to convert the 3 variable truth table into a 2 variable truth table. So to do that, let us fill this 3 variable truth table quickly. 1 0 1 I hope I have written it correct 0 1 oh, see I have missed 2 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 triple 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right so now make the 1 entries so 1 then we have 6 and we have 7. Okay. Then remaining entries are filled with what? 0. Okay. That will be a first step. So now this, this table must be realized or this logical expression must be realized using 4 to 1 multiplex. Okay. So to do that I have to convert this 3 variables to the table into 2 variables to the table. So to do that what I am doing? I have to group the rows in such a way that A and B values are same for two rows. Okay. I have to make this eight rows into four groups. So let us check. If I see A, B, A, B, uh, both of these rows are having A, B as same value. So I am going to put one line after this. So similarly, A, B, zero, one value. I am going to put one more line after this and here. Okay. And now you can just see only this part. So I can represent this 0, 0 as 1 row in 2 variable truth table. 0, 1 as 1 row and 1, 0 as 1 row, 1, 1 as 1 row. We know that in a 2 variable truth table we get only these 4 combinations. Okay. So now what I have to do? But the we are left out with C and Y. But in our logic circuit I don't have C value. Okay, so I have to eliminate it first. So what I have to do? I have to check here. So whether the output depends on C value or not. Okay, so now what is A value and B value? Both are 0, 0. Now check. A value is 0. What is Y value? 0. A value, sorry, C value is 0. What is Y value? 0. C value is 1. What is Y value? It is 1. So that means Y is equal to C. Okay, what I can do for this 0, 0, I can say this is I0. For I0, what is the output I am getting? I should get C. Okay, I hope you got this point. Uh, C is 0, Y is 0, C is 1, Y is 1. So that means what is the I0 value here? C it is. Okay, then what will be the next one? C is 0, I is, uh, Y is 1. This is 1 and this is 0. That means what it will be? It is a complement. C dash. Okay. Then next. A and B values are same. Now C value is 0. Still output is 0. Even if I change the C value to 1, the output is still 0. Means the output doesn't depend on C value. Irrespective of the C value, what is the output I am getting? I am getting the value as 0. In a similar fashion, if I look at the last row, irrespective of C value, what is the output I am going to get? I am getting the value as 1. Okay, so now you can see, we had actually 8 data inputs. I have converted 8 to how many data inputs? 4. Okay, so now let us make the connections. So I0 should be connected to C. But in our circuit, I have only 2 signals, A and B. So what we do? We take one external signal. Okay. So what will be the signal? C. I0 is connected to C. 
Okay. Then what is I1? C bar. C bar means it should be gone to inverse. Then what is I2? I2 is, sorry, this is I2 and this is I3. I2 is what? 0. And what is I3? It is 1. Okay. I hope it is clear. It is very easy to realize any logical expression using a multiplexer circuit. I can realize this expression using 8 to 1 multiplexer. Even I can realize this into, uh, realize using 4 to 1 multiplexer. If I want to realize it using 4 to 1 multiplexer, then I have to follow one strategy to convert these three variables to the table to two variables to the table, then obtain the logic circuit. Okay, so in a similar fashion, I can design this second question. I can design the second question using either 16 to 1 multiplexer. So is this one. We have four inputs means 16 to 1 multiplexer or, or I can design it using 8 to 1 multiplexer. Designing it using 16 to 1 multiplexer is very straightforward. What I have to do? I have to just connect all these data inputs to 1 and the remaining enters to 0. Okay? So, I will discuss how can it be realized using 8 to 1 multiplexer. To design it using 8 to 1 multiplexer, first I have to construct the truth table for 4 variables. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, then then make the entries. So for simplicity, I will just write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So make the 1 entries. So 1, then 3, then we have 4, then 11, then 12, 13, 14, 15. Then the remaining interest will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So in a similar fashion, how we did in the previous example, make uh, how many groups? 8 groups. Where A, B, C are having same value. So they are available together. So you can make like this. This is first group, second group, third, fourth, 5th, 6th, 7th and last one is 8th. Then divide this D like this. So now find out the values for your input. So I naught, you can see D is 0, Y is 0. D is 1, Y is 1. So what will be I naught value? D. Similarly, I1, we are going to get D. Then we have I2, 0, 1, 1, 0. So it is D bar. Then I3, it is 0. I4, 0. I5, I guess D. I6, 1. I7, 1. Okay. So now let us try to draw the circuit. Very simple. Right. A to 2, 1. Max. Then... I will have how many inputs? 8 inputs. I0, I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6, I7. Okay. So now I0 is connected to D. So take one external input, D, connect it. D. What are D? I1 is D. Connect it. Then I guess I5 is D. Connect it. 
I guess that's all. Then we have D bar also. So take one more in uh, inverter. So one inverter. I2 is connected to inverter. Then I guess we have only one D bar. Then after that I3 and I4 are 0 and I6 and I7 are 1. Okay. And it will be having how many control inputs? It will be having three control inputs and it will have one output. Okay. As I said, it is possible to realize the given expression with four variables either using 16 to 1 multiplexer or using 8 to 1 multiplexer using this uh, strategy. Okay. So now uh, with this we have completed the discussion of multiplexer. But sometimes we will be in a uh, situation where we want to perform the inverse operation of multiplexer. Inverse operation of multiplexer means what is happening? I have one input. Okay. And I have multiple outputs. Reverse of here. Uh, multiplexer. We have only one input. And I have 2 power n outputs. Okay, so what I want to do in this case is whatever value is available in this input, it should be transferred to one of the outputs among 2 power n outputs. So this can be done with the help of a circuit called as D multiplexer. Okay, how we are going to do that? This can be done with the help of a circuit called as D multiplexer. So what varieties of D multiplexers we can design? 1, 2, 2 power 1. So in this what, how many control inputs will be there? One control input. And I can design 1, 2, 2 power 2. That is 1, 2, 4 Dmux. How many control inputs? Two control inputs. Then similarly we have 1, 2, 2 power 3. 1 to 8 Dmux. So how many control inputs? Three control inputs. Quickly I will show you the design of one of the multiplexers. Just I will give you the idea. I'll design this. Only one select input. So I'm going to take yes as 0 and 1. So how many outputs will be having? Why not? Why not? Okay. So here what is the value of 0? If yes is 0, why not is selected? If yes is 1, why 1 is selected? Okay. So in a similar fashion if I want to design 1 to 4 multiplexer, then I'll be having yes 1, s naught. And how many outputs will be there? Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3. Then uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So what I am going to get here? 1, all zeros. 0, 1, 0, 0. Then we have 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay. If select input is 0, 0, what is selected? Y0 is selected. Okay. If selected input is 0, 1, what is selected? Y1 is selected. Okay. So, it is very clear. Uh, if you see this table, it looks somewhat similar to a decoder. Okay. So, you can try to design the uh, logic circuit for this. First, obtain the Boolean expression for Y0, Y1, Y2 and Y3. I am going to get four uh, product terms. Okay. So, then... Design the logic circuit. It is almost similar to a uh, decoder circuit. Okay. So I hope whatever topics we have discussed in this video regarding a multiplexer design, regarding the design of a quadruple 2 to 1 multiplexer and then how can we realize any Boolean expression with the help of any kind of multiplexer and then the concept of demultiplexer. Uh, which one I have not got into much detail. You can just try it. Uh, I hope you have understood this. And I am displaying one uh, practice question on the slide. You can just try it out. Thank you for watching the video.